Hi guys and welcome back to Back Beyond Tech. We're just coming at you with a quick bit of news on AMD Zen SKUs and pricing. So most of you will have noticed that there's been a few stories floating about on places like WCCF Tech and Tweet Town. Um, so I've read a few articles about this. I've kind of watched a few videos um, just to see what the other tech tubers take on it. And it seems that everyone's largely in the same place. So um, let's just get down to brass tacks. So, it seems pretty hard fast at the moment that AMD has fixed their SKUs and the pricing seems a bit more realistic that's been leaked in this article. So let's just get to the meat and potatoes. They're going to be releasing, as we discussed before, an SR7, which is an 8-core, 16-thread CPU. Now that 8-core, 16-thread CPU is going to be running at a base clock of 3.2 gigahertz and a boost clock of 3.5 gigahertz. We don't know how fast or how well it will overclock. What we do know is that it is intended to outperform the Devil's Canyon i7-5960X and be on a par with the i7-6900K, that is the current um, enthusiast level chip. But it will be doing this at $499. Now, that is absolutely massive for, for people like myself, for content creators, or for people with a heavily multi-threaded workload, this chip represents excellent value for money. Really, really good value for money. So if that's true, that's just, that's massive. There are still other questions like whether this is a true eight core, if it's two four cores fused together, but but either way, you know, you know, to get that level of performance at 499 bucks is just absolutely amazing. Now that to one side guys, I think what's going to be more interesting for the majority of you, um, especially if you're a gamer, is that they're also going to be releasing an SR3 SKU, which will offer four cores, eight threads. They haven't mentioned anything about clock speed yet. I've not been able to find anything about clock speed. What I have been able to find is the, the price that it's going to be released for and the performance level they're looking to, to aim at. So currently, it's reported that this four core eight thread CPU will be offering the same performance as a current generation i7, so the 6700, and it will be doing that at $149. So that is like half the cost of an i7, and you're getting the same performance. That is huge. I mean, in one fell swoop, if this is true, AMD are just gonna make things like the i5 and the i7 largely irrelevant. I mean, why would you pay more money in the case of an i5 for less performance? And why would you pay more money in the case of an i7 for the same level of performance? So I don't know, guys. I mean, like I say, as with everything that you read on the internet, you have to take it with a pinch of salt. And, and I do take it with a pinch of salt. But really, I think we're at the point now where I've kind of got to take off my objective goggles and I've just got to believe, man. I've got, I've got to believe that, that Zen is real. I mean, if we want competition and, and, and we want Intel to get a kick in the ass, we really need competition. I mean, Zen, really for me, it, it's AMD's um, Obi-Wan moment. You know, Zen is their last hope. If Zen is a flop, AMD are done in terms of CPU manufacturing. You can just say goodbye to them. And if that's the case, we're gonna be stuck with Intel you know, and, and looking at the difference between sort of Skylake and Kaby Lake, you know, when you get down to brass tacks, most people would agree that all you're getting there is a 1% IPC gain. So why the hell would you run out and upgrade? I mean, yes, it, it'll bring a few other features, like it's going to bring more PCIe lanes. But if you're a gamer, do you really care about getting an extra few PCIe lanes? I wouldn't. I would just stick on my X99 platform where I've got 28, you know. So... That, that's that's really it for me, guys. I mean, I, I really hope Zen is real. Um, I think this is more realistic because, you know, before when they were talking about selling an 8-core, 16-thread CPU for $300, I mean, I knew, and I think everyone else knew back then, and I said it in, in the video I did about it, that there's no way it's going to sell for $300. I thought it'd be more like the four to 500 mark. And so this is why I think this is a bit more realistic um, you know, this this makes sense to me. This is a price point they can come in and they can undercut Intel significantly, but they can probably still make a profit at this level. Um, so guys, that's it. I mean, we're going to have to wait until CES 2017 probably, but I'm really looking forward to Zen. And 
if that 8-core CPU is a real thing, then my main rig is going to be a, an 8-core 16-threaded AMD CPU. There's no two ways about it. You know, that that's what it's going to be. And then my, my uh, 6800K will go on the test bench, probably. So guys, I hope you liked the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. I hope you, hope you liked it. Um, but don't forget to comment. I love reading your comments. You know, I try to read as many as them as I can. And if you're enjoying the content, guys, don't forget to subscribe. You know, let's keep that channel growth going. Let's grow a community. And, I, and you know, I think we're really going in the right direction. Without you, there wouldn't be a channel. That's it at the end of the day. So I, I rely on your comments and, and I rely on your support. So keep it coming guys and I'll catch you later in another great tech video. Bye now.